and welcome to my revision video on dams. Let's start with the basics. What is a dam? Well, a dam is basically a barrier that we put into the river to control the flow of water. Why would we want to control the flow of water in a river? Well, there's three reasons. Reason number one, we may want to control the flow of water, slow it down in order to limit flooding further downstream. The second reason, uh, we are going to create a reservoir behind that dam, a big lake, and that creates a store of water which we can then use to combat issues such as drought. The third reason is to do with creating electricity. We can use a dam to channel water through a series of turbines, creating what we call HEP, or hydroelectric power. This is a green form of energy, great for combating countries' high carbon footprint. There are lots of positives to dams. First of all, obviously we can regulate that water flow and combat issues such as flooding and drought. We can create that hydroelectric power, that green energy. And lastly, the reservoir itself has got many, many uses. For example, that big lake there can be used for things such as tourism, for leisure activities, things like fishing, which might create a food supply for a population. And we can use the water in that reservoir for drinking, but for also for irrigation of land. So watering crops, watering farmland. Unfortunately, there are some negatives to dams as well. Firstly, they do tend to cost a huge amount of money. Secondly, there is obviously a slight risk of severe disaster and flooding if the dam should break. And lastly, there is a huge amount of lost land uh, when the reservoir is created. We have to flood the land behind the dam and that can cause the displacement of people, for example. Now, I'm going to talk you through a case study that you can use as uh, in, in your exam answers, and that is the Three Gorges Dam in China. Okay, the Three Gorges Dam in China is what we would call a large-scale water management project. And the reason it was built was because there is a lot of water in southern China, but in northern China, they suffer quite a lot of drought. They really don't have enough water. So, the Chinese decided to build this huge dam in the Yangtze River, down in the south, creating a huge reservoir of water, that water store, which they then pipe up to the north, uh, which allows them to have more, more balance between the north and the south and the amount of water available. Lots and lots of benefits. Obviously, we do have that limitation of drought. Um, there was also a reduced seasonal flood risk. Um, and they're, they're able to use the water from the reservoir to irrigate farmland in the local area. They also have uh, produced electricity through this dam. In fact, 30 million tonnes of coal has been saved through uh, the HEP. Um, it generates 3% of China's energy and has reduced emissions of 100 million tonnes of greenhouse gases. So we have a real global benefit as well as a local benefit. However, lots of problems with this particular project. First of all, a huge amount of land was lost when they flooded the reservoir behind. Uh, and the land that was lost was farmland. It forced 1.3 million people to to relocate, to move away, to migrate to other places in China. Um, and lots of cultural and uh, historical sites were lost um, du during that time. There is an increase in landslide risk in the area and the dam itself cost a huge $22.5 billion to actually create. Additionally to that, we've had some real problems environmentally because of the dam, the wetlands, in that area were destroyed. Uh, a lot of local biodiversity has been lost, including the extinction of the Yangtze River dolphin. So, with dams, we need to remember that there are lots of positives and lots of negatives to this kind of project. Thanks for watching.